Hey guys, Neil back here with Super Saiyan 3 Joke Studios here to bring you the second review of today, the one that everyone has been waiting so damn long for. Um, the review of my custom movie accurate non transforming Voyager Optimus Prime. Here is the finished dealio. Dealio? Yeah. Um, you saw a preview of this guy in a tutorial vid that I did on Jetfire, or not Jetfire, Custom Pyro Prime with my paint pen. Um, and I'm finally gotten done with them. So here he is. Um, he still has the two guns. I cut off the smokestacks so they look a little better. Just snap them into place like before. Pretty much I'm just going to go over, he has no transformation of course, I'm just going to go over what I did here. Um, basically I just thought of this. Basically, um, th the whole point of my customs is to either inspire someone or just to basically express myself. I'm hoping to in inspire some pro customizers out there who possibly, you know, need some ideas, um, you know, stuff like that. So basically, these are the windows from the cab section of the Voyager. This is the, actually the back of the no section. Like, you know, you have the front where the grill is, and you have the back. This is part of the back. Um, I should have done the front. These don't look too, these don't look as accurate. The front parts would have actually been able to, you know, betterly mimic these pieces right here with the lights are here. Um, the the blue pieces that are on Prime are right here. This is Buster Prime, of course, that are right here. These pieces are still there, but I kind of covered them up a little bit, which is bad. Um, I didn't quite put as much effort as I thought I would have. I missed some flame details here and blue parts here, but I'm calling them done. And I suck at flames too. I'm a, I'm an amateur customizer. These are my flames here, here, back here. Flame details on the front here. Yeah, I'm not good at all with flames. These these pieces still move up and down. <clears throat> now then, I got I did my best here in the back section. These are the f the back fenders. These are the panels that have the. These are the get. These are the. I don't even know what they're called, but I like the cylinders from that part. And these were the red parts. They're all blue now. I spray painted them blue. Getting out of focus here. And I customized the head. Um, I got kind of crazy and it went out of control, so it's not quite the best. I glued a little Autobot symbol in there. These are the doors. I kind of cut them to shape them, kind of. Put flames there, too. Um, I kind of made these less fat. I trimmed them off a little bit. These panels just stick, stay there. These are the wheels. I thought that was this was the coolest part, was the wheels here. I didn't even have to flame detail it, because it already had the flames. Back here, I got this all blue. Um, this is part of the front. This is, was the, the front fender of the truck. I just cut it so it could cover up the back section here. I think it looks pretty nice. Yeah, I put a lot of work into this guy. Well, but I'm an amateur, of course, so it, didn't, so it didn't quite look as good as I thought it would. But Whatever, I like it. Of course, he painted these blue here. But a little red mark here is the flame detail. So overall, I put a lot of effort into this guy. Just showing him off here. Like I said, you can find Facebook Facebook pictures. Um, there was a link in the last review I posted. I don't know if you can actually go on there without having an account, but if you don't want to friend me, uh, hopefully you, um, I'm making my pictures public so you can see them even if you're not my friend. So yeah, that's pretty much my custom review. Let's just back up here and get a comparison here with Buster Prime with the faceplate head. Pretty cool. Thanks for watching. Um, this was a short review unlike the other one, which was like 10 minutes. So, thank you for watching.